Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you've been following the channel for a while, you'll know that, what, about two months ago, I visited a strange glen where the water ran blood red. I'll leave a link in the corner. And then just a couple of weeks ago, I visited a, an unusual loch where the water was a strange green colour. Well, today I'm continuing that colourful theme. Today I'm on a hunt for a very mysterious blue pool. Let's go. Now, as well as the mysterious blue pool, I'm also going to be taking photographs of how the remains of a 16th century castle and also a Pictish broch which dates back to somewhere around 250 BC. We have a lovely clear morning for this. When I left home it was actually quite foggy and I, to be honest I was hoping we'd have some fog here as well. Thought that would add to the atmosphere. You never know, I think we're, we're heading up the way. So we might still hit a patch of fog further up the hill. We definitely have just a little hint of mist. Next up is the Blue Pool of Torwood. I think I know how to get to it. As I say, I've been once before, but I didn't come this way. So I could well be. Marking up the wrong tree here. And the great thing is the further into the wood I go, the mistier it gets. It would be brilliant if I could find this pool and find that it's very misty these conditions are exactly what I was hoping for when I left the house this morning is most definitely a blue pool. That's incredible.
Okay, I've kind of settled on this as the first composition. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm focusing on the reflection here of that little tree. I'm trying to exclude as much as possible of this brighter sky because the sun's over there and that's backlighting the mist. So I'm focusing here on the reflection and this kind of a darker area of the pool which is showing up the, the blue that little bit more. But I've put a circular polarizer on and as always when you're working with colors, polarizer is a great thing for reducing reflections and just really emphasizing the color. So this is a camera view just now and that's with the polarizer having minimal effect. But when I rotate it, that makes quite a difference to the colour, doesn't it? I'm including that for several reasons. <laughs> the main one being, I don't want to be accused of Photoshop when I get this back. Because, quite frankly, that colour is incredible. Right, this is another slightly different viewpoint. I have included the arc of the retaining wall here. I'm focused on this tree. I'm including some of the brighter background and still working with this tree here and the contrast here between the, the red ferns, the misty blue background and the very blue water. And then just a little line of green I've kind of taken as many shots as I think I can manage looking in this direction. I'm going to go around the other side of the pool now and shoot into the forest. So we'll have this kind of misty forest as backdrop now. We'll see if we can do something with that. The, kind of, the mist is coming and going. We still have it at the moment, but I'm not sure for how long because in the distance I can see the sun is starting to burn it off down towards the river. Right, here we go. Here's a new shot. I've got the ferns, the coloured leaves on the tree contrasting nicely with the water. Unfortunately, we've got these branches here, but uh, I don't really want to move anything. So I'm including them. I'm actually using them to focus on. And uh, I'm using again an F13, but because I'm shooting it into the darker forest now, it's a five second exposure.
that's it for the mysterious blue pool of Torwood. I'm going to head back down now. Uh, I might do a little bit of woodland photography since we still have a little hint of mist, as you can see behind me. I think what I might do for the walk back is take the camera off the timer, take off the tripod and uh, increase the ISO a little bit and just shoot handheld all the way back down to the, uh, the cut off of the broch. Back at the castle now. That does look quite dramatic, doesn't it? With the, those little trees silhouetted in front of it. And these shafts of light going across the field. I might, I might take that shot where we have these, the canopy above me framing. Uh, this tree here, the shafts of light leading you down to the silhouette of the castle and those trees around it. Quite like that. Is that not absolutely gorgeous? It's 
So here we are, I believe, at the Tapok Broch. Just look at the amazing light that we've got here. We've got these sun rays bursting through the trees, lighting up what little mist there is left. And they're leading the ice straight down to the what I think was the main entrance of the broch. This is absolutely incredible. If I wasn't here, I'd think it was photoshopped. <laughs> Right, the shafts of light that were coming down through the trees have pretty much gone now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down into the broch. The light is incredible. And this is the way down. Inside a uh, two and a half thousand year old fortified house. So that's it for this video and uh, the tall wood. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the photographs. Give us a little thumbs up if you did. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye.